what's going on guys and welcome back to some more pacific reactions today we're gonna be taking a look pacific episode four i know the series is going very slow on the channel right now <laughs> but um yes i'm getting back into the groove of things new year and all get out of the holiday spirit and all it's been a what we're a week into the new year now almost a week and a half um so I'm trying to get back into the groove of things so give me some time i think i did promise someone i would have put this out on monday didn't get a chance to do it on monday um so we're doing it today today is what thursday uh i think <laughs> yeah so this is the first time i'm i'm really getting a chance to do stuff in the week right now so Thursday it is. I'm still trying to figure out some things outside of the scope of YouTube right now um, to get back into the slow mode. So, yeah, so we're 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 going to be shooting videos off. Everything going to be coming back to the channel um, on a daily basis. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there. So the last episode that we watched, it's a very somber episode. There was not any fighting or anything. Just them getting um prepared you know so they were in australia <laughs> you know um just kind of chilling <laughs> yes and um getting ready to go back to war a couple of them were sent home um we got promoted got sent home um pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff that was happening um but you guys know the relationship that really that really um took a toll on me uh, something that i wanted to see work out because their chemistry on screen was very well done it was very well done by the actors in a very short amount of time and that's why i loved it so much but today we're going to be diving in to episode four so let's go watch it and i'll give you guys my thoughts after all right see you guys for the review All right, I did not expect that episode to be that short, but here we are. Episode four is in the books, part four. And it's cool. It's cool that they're kind of displaying the, the repercussions of war, what goes through these guys' minds. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could really get tired of that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can see, you know, especially the fact that there's no action. In um in Band of Brothers, there was continuous action throughout the series. They were always, like, you know what I'm saying? They were always in some sort of battle. They were always on their way to the next battle or something of the sort. That they covered over those 10 episodes. But in this one, you're getting more of the, you know, the in-betweens. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're getting more of the in-betweens of them traveling um, to these different places. And nothing is really happening. And they're also kind of showing you the stress, the traumatic stress that that they're, that is happening to them after Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal, right? So the effect that it has on them of them, you know, going crazy, you got guys killing themselves, trying to kill themselves. It's just it just goes to show you that you know what I'm saying, like if you didn't believe that PTSD was a real thing, they are showing you it's a real thing. It happens. You know, I've spoken to veterans that has PTSD and it's not fun. It's it's not fun. It's it's no fun talking to these to these guys because it's it seems like they're still there. You know what I'm saying? Like they're still there. Like there's a certain level of fear also with them. You know, some of them, you know, the the the, the machismo, you know what I'm saying? If you want to call it that, their ma their macho ness, if you will. You know what I'm saying? It's there, but it's also there's a certain level of fear that's there where they think that somebody's still out to get them. You know what I mean? So it's like 
it's not a great experience by any means. You know what I'm saying? It's not pity either. It's more of like you're so sympathetic towards these people. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like you're looking at them as, and you're like, you know, these people fight to create us, to create the freedom, you know, you know, for you to be able to, to do whatever you want, say whatever you want without repercussions and look at what they get in return. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, in my band of brothers, you know, I talked a lot about, you know, we had a back and forth comment section. People came at me. You know what I'm saying? Some people agreed with me when I cleared up what I was trying to say about if war is necessary or not. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you have all right to defend yourself, retaliate. But if you are the one starting the war, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say war is not necessary. People make these decisions to attack another country. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's decisions, it's choices. It boils down to to basic things like choices, you know? So people deciding to go to war, you know, um, recently, you guys know what's been happening in the news if you've been keeping up with the news and stuff like that. I mean, it was trending. You know, World War Three was trending because of what happened. Um, I don't want to get into details of what was happening. I do. I'm, I am keeping an eye on it because people are afraid of getting drafted into the army and all of this other stuff for 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 World War Three. You know, U.S. versus Iran kind of thing. Um, and you know, I've said to people, I said, listen. My opinion of the entire thing is that it's not going to happen. Iran is not, they're not that stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They are not that stupid. You know, there's plenty of countries that out there could declare war on, on the U.S. Iran is not one of them. Iran don't have that kind of manpower to go up against the U.S. You know what I'm saying? They, they just don't. They don't have the, the military power to do it and to win. You get what I'm saying? They would have to coerce allies that are stronger allies that can be even in comparison you know what i'm saying like who's gonna support iran to go against the u.s and all these other allies that they have when you're talking about britain so many huge armies that are allied with the u.s it's 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 a wash let's just be honest about it it's a wash for 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 iran you know what I'm saying? Um, they can't play the they can't play the nuke game. They can't play that either because you get what I'm saying. Like is 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 it would just be stupid in my opinion. And and I I you know for me it's just I just said it, it's not gonna happen. I don't think they're that stupid. You know it you know it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake what Trump did. It was not a mistake. <laughs> They did what they did, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, whatever retaliation that took place, you, you guys, if you have not listened to the last speech that Donald Trump gave, please go listen to that if you're interested. It's up to you. But anyways, it's just for this show, like I'm, I'm loving it because the acting is awesome, but I'm seeing that they're taking the time out to show the repercussions of, you know, war you know and not necessarily after the fact but during you know what i'm saying um because you think they're okay while they're over there no they're not <laughs> you know this dude this it, it does happen you know the guy killed himself you know shot himself in the head put the gun in his mouth shot himself that is heroin man you know what i'm saying so it's crazy but anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm glad that they're shining a light on this. You know, I wish that a lot more people would watch this and kind of understand and be more sympathetic um, towards veterans. And most of the veterans that I talk to, they're homeless. <laughs> you know, that's the crazy thing, too. They're homeless. You know, um, it's just nuts to me. It's just nuts to me that they do so much for this country and then they come back here and they're homeless. It's just, it's weird. 
but it is what's happening. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I know a lot of people was waiting on me to do this. Um, so don't worry. We're going to we're, we're, we're gonna get, get the ball rolling again. So don't worry. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. And also, and also, subscribe if you're new. See boy, everybody reacts. Peace.